Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Unscripted Show with me, the Radio King. So in case you want to get to us, that is Team Unscripted Show, we are here for you. And we are generally here to educate, inform, entertain, most importantly, and lastly, to engage you. So in case you want to get back to us, that is Team Unscripted Show, be free to get to us through Instagram at the radio underscore king, Twitter at the radio underscore king, and Facebook at the radio king. Thank you and welcome back. So it's been a week since our first and last episode, technically, and the last week has been full of theatrics and a lot of drama. Actually, Hata National Tanzawapi. But anyway, let me start from the beginning. So last week around Wednesday, we a lot of drama in social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. So it was the battle of Slay Queens, that is Huda Monroe and Kamene Goro. So what wana juuliza, what wana juaje Huda Monroe? And people are like, Huda Monroe is that socialite. Yani ni ule socialite, to put it in street terms. Then come back to the other side, kuna Kamene Goro. Kamene Goro is that hot TV and radio presenter. She was once a TV presenter. Nowadays, she's a full-time radio presenter. So kumekuwa na matatizo. There was, there was a beef. So apparently, Kamene Goro went online with a video shot with uh, Andrew Kibbe and some other, some other guy. So she was insulting Huda Monroe, calling her names, which I cannot say, which I cannot say in national TV like this one. So kumekwana matatizo. So all of all of you saw that video. So what happened? Check this video before we get into further details. How? How now? What do you think about that, Kibe? Why is Kibe afraid? I, I, I don't know. Why are you afraid? No, I don't know about Buddha. I'm not really. What do you think she is? A lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big coin. It's a big coin. <laughs> <laughs> Kibe, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going <laughs> Bitcoin Aras. Bitcoin Aras. Bitcoin is my friend. So before you start asking yourselves, Mbona Kamenegoro ananza kutusi nani? Kutusi huda. And you know what? Uh, according to the video, you have seen what happened. But kitu nani bamba ni, this battle was long overdue for people like, for people who know what happens here and there. So, it's not the first time Kamene and Huda are clashing. Ilianza nile story ya kufunga duka. So, Huda Monroe alikuja na story, akasema, we women need to funga duka, figuratively. Na hiyo ilikuwa, Kamene, of course, tunajua Kamene, for the last, the last time she was on TV, uh, on a show which I'm not going to mention, alisema, she has slept with 27, 27, 27 men. And mind you, she is 27 years old. So hiyo ndiyo story watu wanajua Kamenegoro, Kamenegoro nayo. So for her hating on story ya kufunga duka with Huda Monroe, I think it would meddle with her business technically because we know her past, her past history. So imekuwa tatizo because people went to social media kunga mkono na kupinga. People are like you cannot compare Kamenegoro and Huda Monroe. What do you think about that? The other party yenye ilinibamba ni when you Kibe, you know Kibe, everyone knows Kibe is a very vocal man. And actually, recently it has been proved that before Kibe, before the Kibe we know, there was a Kibe who was a pastor. Alikuwa mtuwa, alikuwa pastor nani, pastor Kibe. The only thing in a touch na video ni the fact that, yani, Andrew Kibe aliguzwa na goro. Akamwa, he is not going to comment about historia Huda Monroe. And people also further say that Atika Menegoro ameambukizo ugonjwa na nani? Na Andrew Kibe. Vapo diarrhea. Anyway, doesn't it seem a bit hypocritical for Kamenegoro to go against Huda? It turns out it was just another publicity stunt. Yakuza show because Kamene Goro was actually transferring from NRG radio to Kiss FM. Kiss 100, that is. So, turns out, you alone, drama Yakuza nini? Yakuza show. 
which brings me to the next topic which is about Willipol ama Willipose venye watu wanamjua so Willipose has been trending over the last week because apparently he posted on Instagram and Twitter that a message which showed that ni kama kuna ish ish between ye na Alain for those who don't know Alain Alain is one talented Jamaican musician mwenye amekuwa akifanya collab na Willipol but actually her first her first collab was with Waire na kupenda pia kila mtu anakumbuka hiyo track so turns out pia ya Willipol ilikuwa drama ya kuuza a new video which has been released in the past one day in the last let's say 24 to 48 hours shadow mado their video hapo ndio karibu nianze kujiuliza eh pia Willipol anayekuwa hizo ma maboycha ma duko na masniku ati ameniaka zonia dentist ananitanga tu kikiumana au unasikia sleku na nauliza boy eh hey, the radio king naezaje pata boy ka ule beshti yako anaitwa brayo hiyo ni zone gani wanaume comparison on to other news our own vera sidika has turned out to be the kenyan version of jose chameleon this lady has been able to transform herself from having a, a black complexion to a almost white complexion and now recently back to a black complexion which left many kenyans mouths wide agape because guys were like hii inawezekana aje ama ilikuwa watu walikuwa sema ilikuwa tan people went to social media kusema a a u si yeye ama kama ni yeye ameka nini ameka tan but recently in a show uh, which is uh Christian 10 over 10 in Citizen TV and he appear kasema it was a procedure and it is actually very it's very common Gave, she gave a story about a european lady who turned herself black na kajita akajita malaika she is a black she bend up her back black steaming up what a black i wanna get her she is a black she bend up her back black steaming up what a black i wanna get you see the kitu iko interesting to the eye ni the type of music they decided to play when Vera was going to the stage she is a heartbreaker considering that tunakumbuka story yake na Otile Brown was Otile Brown's heart broken and still the focus of the camera that cameraman must be the newest recruit of Tim Mafisi not even the face on to other news a very young mp Mono constituency legislator by the name Kimani Kuria decided to go to a meeting which was aimed at discussing uh, the effects of alcohol and maybe to curb the use of alcohol among the constituents but apparently the young MP alienda kiomlevi this brings us to the question to kipigia watu kura they get drunk they get drunk with power ama the MP aliamua dawa ya moto ni ni moto or possibly the mp decide was only showcasing to the other kenyans that more people have more to offer than just milk molo milk na vita ambayo tumeitwa hapa siku ya leo wiki gere irathiri ya tukuje on to other news The chief protagonist for the legalization of weed in Kenya, one Kibra MP Ken Okoth is back in the country after a month's fight against cancer. So the battle or the fight for the legalization of weed in Kenya started right after South Africa, a fellow other a fellow African country decided to legalize the use of weed for recreational purposes. So it brings us to the question, why hasn't weed been legalized in most countries in the world and including Kenya so it's apparently according to scientific research which has proved that weed even though illegal is not yet proven to have adverse health effects to the users compared to other legal drugs like tobacco for instance tobacco is known to cause lung cancer throat cancer 
lip cancer, change the color of your teeth, and even and even heart addiction. It is very addictive. So why hasn't weed been uh, legalized yet? One thing uh, which the chief protagonists and other protagonists and proponents for the legalization of weed are forgetting is that weed has one particular effect hallucination illusion check this video So that goes against the values of the Cute Boys Association, not to be confused with the Boys Club. You know, the bravery, the confidence, the audacity to declare your handsomeness on national TV takes a lot. Enyewe, vijana wache miadarati. Elsewhere and far from that, during the recent Koroga festivals, the ethnic entertainment crew but like Kuroga, they became reckless and as a result of that, waka Kuroga. Ama, what else is there to say? Recently on Saturday, justice seems to have been finally served after Kirinyaga governor and Mobi Waiguru alifungwa pinguza maisha and this was done by one very competent lawyer Kamodo Waiganjo Far from home, German scientists have concluded that roaches, ama cockroaches, ama mwende, ama komba mwiko have grown to be resistant to insecticides You may have noticed in your home, una spray mende na doom but it's still not doomed Ama una spray na bolt but still, it bolts. I think now we'll have to go to our traditional method of control. Kuipigana slippers. Because, trust me, it will never slip away. So thank you for watching this episode of the Unscripted Show with the Radio King. Before we go, I would like to thank the man behind the camera, that is Munene Mwenda. And please, 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button.